నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు ద టిఎస్ టిఎస్పిఎస్సి గ్రూప్ వన్ సర్వీసెస్ గైడెన్స్ క్లాసెస్ టెలికాస్టెడ్ బై టీసాట్ ఎవరి వన్ నోస్ ఇట్ టీసాట్ ప్రౌడ్లీ టెలికాస్టింగ్ ద గైడెన్స్ క్లాసెస్ ఫర్ ద గ్రూప్ వన్ సర్వీసెస్ విత్ ద మోస్ట్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్డ్ వెల్ కన్సెప్చువలైజ్డ్ పీపుల్ so we are going to utilize this uh, training program orienting classes and make maximum use as you know it the economy is a very important area in all aspects telangana state is the richest state in india in all aspects not only in the financial aspect but also in the heritage culture and all aspects we have good culture good heritage good water resources good natural resources good planning good administration all makes our telangana economy with a very wealth sound so now we are going to discuss about the socio economic outlook of telangana so what are the factors what are the different policies how they are going to implemented and at what are the factors influences our economy which was given by the different uh, organizations about the economy of telangana the socio economic outlook of telangana reflects the government's work over the previous year and the state progress towards the greater development and highlights the government prominence in improving the outcomes in each sector just now i said we have a good government the leader has a very good foresee and he knows how to improve our state in all aspects so here uh, the socio economic outlook of telangana gives the government works over the previous year how the state progress is how it is uh, develops the state economy those highlights we are going to discuss it now we will be discuss the socio economic outlook in 15 broad categories so i will discuss all these one by one in each area like uh, agriculture area financial area like we will discuss all categories one by one so those are 15 now let us first discuss about the overview of the government activities across the world 2020 was a, a challenging year as you know it saving lives from covid-19 and protecting the livelihood because uh, uh, 2020 is a uh, totally uh, a disaster year in health point of view correct so we have we are suffered the total world suffered with the pandemic situation due to covid 19 so all the total world will be suffered financially economically socially we lose the so many we lost so many people so many people uh, lose their livelihoods also so how we saved our lives and we uh, escaped from this uh, disaster done by the covid 19 so we will see all those things of the 2.99 lakh positive cases reported in the state 98.8% have recovered fully as on february 2021 it's a, a great achievement so at our hyderabad only this covaxin the vaccination uh, which is a uh, highly affected uh, useful for uh, to eradicate actually this word is uh, not correct but we can use this uh, word eradicate of a uh, uh, covid 19 to simply drive in this a uh, uh, covid 19 from our our lives so nearly 2.99 lakh 
a positive cases are reported in Telangana state as per the statistics of February 2021. Among 2.99 lakh positive cases, 98.8 percent of the people were recovered fully. It is a great achievement, correct? The state's death rate is 0 0.5 percent, which is uh, lower than that of the rest of the country 1.4 percent. So, throughout the country when you consider the death rate is uh, a 1.4 percent, uh, our state the Langana state death rate is 0 0.5 percent because of uh, the government policies, government interest. Government has taken uh, so many uh, action plans to save the Telangana people from the COVID-19. As per the economic survey 2020-21 of the government of India, Telangana was among us the three states to have saved the most lives in the country. So, this credibility is uh, uh, definitely uh, honored because so, when you consider uh, all the states of India, so which uh, among uh, all these 28 states, so who saved the most of the lives of their people in the country. So, if you consider the first three, the Telangana is one of the first three states who saved the most lives in the country. It is a, a great achievement. Correct? Okay. In 2020-21, the state economic growth in constant, when you compare the 2011-12 prices uh, drop to 1.26 uh, percent. Actually, uh, lot of things may be while national growth drop to 8 percent. Now, observe it. So, when you compare 2020-21 statistics of economic growth, the economic growth of nation dropped to 8 percent while uh, Telangana state economic growth dropped to just 1.26 percent. Saving lives and livelihoods controlling the spread of COVID-19, the government sustained investment in governance, economic and social policies. These are the uh, very important factors. So, government take a very uh, brave step, challenging steps to save the government's government uh, investments in the economic and social uh, policies. So, that is the reason the economic growth even though in the disaster situation uh, drop just to only 1.26 percent. Telangana recorded its first case of COVID-19 on 2nd March uh, 2020. Uh, so, this is a, a very important uh, uh, thing to in the in point of examination. The first case which was recorded of COVID-19 in Telangana is on 2nd March 2020. The government acted proactively and imposed a lockdown. So, immediately the government uh, after observing the health emergency and uh, uh, the spread of COVID-19 in Telangana state, the government uh, immediately announced, imposed the lockdown. During the lockdown, the government began engaging more healthcare workers and investing in dedicated COVID-19 infrastructure. So, here all the people or means health workers uh, and doctors, the government, each and everyone, each and everyone. So, they are uh, taking very important challenge. They take, they sacrifice their lives. They worked very hard and uh, during the, especially in the lockdown uh, uh, situation, the most uh, we can give a, a salute to these healthcare workers, sanitated people, doctors, even uh, the public also, they completely they dedicated for removing 
the COVID-19 from the system. Telangana has engaged 5,937 additional healthcare persons and redeployed existing healthcare personnel to implement a statewide very important disease test track treat strategy. So, we have to test the people and we have to track the, the poor people who are uh, uh, affected and then we have to give effective uh, treatment to save the lives of that affected people. So, this is the test track and treat these three. The government provided the state strong health infrastructure to equip all the major government hospitals with oxygen, beds, ventilators and PPE kits. So, this is a, a very important initiation taken by the government. So, they just they, uh, they, they make a strong health infrastructure and, and by providing the required equipment for all the major government hospitals, the equipment like oxygen, beds, ventilators and PPE kits even though uh, that is uh, what you call it as uh, uh, the medicine also, proper medicine also for that. Okay. The Gandhi hospital in Sikindrabad was uh, designated as the nodal hospital for COVID-19 while 277 other hospitals across the state were designated as COVID-19 treatment hospitals. So, this is a very one more important uh, objective that is uh, the Gandhi hospital in Sikindrabad was designated as the nodal hospital for COVID-19. In total, there are 8114 beds in the state dedicated for a COVID-19 treatment. Uh, most of the hospitals uh, is converted as a special uh, hospitals for treating uh, the COVID-19 affected people. Functions also are also, also uh, converted as COVID-19 COVID hospitals like where the possibility is there. So, there the government has taken a wide uh, steps to save the people. The Telangana's positive rate of nearly 3.4 percent significantly lower than that of the national rate of 5.1 percent. See, so when you compare the, the positive rate for the COVID uh, 19 uh, in the country is 5.1 percent, but uh, in Telangana state uh, it is a 3.4 percent. It make compulsory wear the mask or okay, given instructions by the by using uh, all uh, systems okay, public uh, systems all the system they spread the importance of uh, uh, wearing mask and using uh, sanitizers okay, and making sanitization of the all the environment, uh, keeping uh, uh, the surroundings with the hygienic uh, uh, nature. All these things will help us uh, to uh, reduce the positive rate of uh, uh, COVID-19 significantly lower than our uh, national rate which is a 5.91 percent of national. Uh, rate to our Telangana state positive rate is just 3.4 percent. Okay. Hyderabad accounts for one third of the world's vaccination production and its role in the development of and production of the COVID-19 vaccine is commandable, correct. So, as you know it, uh, um, now the co-vaccine was actually was prepared at Hyderabad. So, Hyderabad accounts for one third of the world's vaccination production and its role in the development and production of COVID-19 vaccine. It is so, Hyderabad becomes as a medical hub for the total world. So, it provides nearly one third of the total world's vaccination. Uh, it, it provides uh, 
the vaccine for the total world. Nearly one third of the world was uh, utilized this vaccine and they survives their lives. While strictly enforcing their lockdown and curfew during the uh, crisis period, the government continued to deliver essential services such as power, sanitation, water supply, medical care and essential commodities with the minimal disruptions. So, it does not uh, disturb uh, uh, the normal lives. So, it is uh, even though each and every people are suffering with uh, uh, getting uh, uh, what you call it, uh, food and all these things, but government uh, taken uh, high care to provide uninterrupted power and good sanitization and water supply, uninterrupted water supply, uh, medical care. So, medical care also is taken a uh, very um, wide range and essential commodities. So, with a minimal disruption. So, so, the general lives of the people does not affect it even though all the world is suffering with uh, uh, the COVID-19. The Telangana government has taken uh, major steps to provide the power, sanitation, water supply, uh, medical care and essential commodities without any kind of interruption. The God, the former incomes from the COVID-19 crisis in total is 9199 crores of paddy and 10167 crores of cotton was obtained in 2020-21. So, this is a one of the major thing. So, our uh, Telangana farmers contributed in the uh, grass income of the country by giving uh, the maximum share by the paddy nearly 9199 crores from the paddy and 10167 crores from the cotton and so this totally it is nearly 20000 nearly 20000 crores of rupees uh, is contributed from our farmers to our national income in the COVID-19 crisis. This is a, a great support from our Telangana uh, farmers in the Indian economy. The Minister of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, MSMES, generally this is a full form generally we, they may ask it as a, what is the full form of MSMES also means, MSMES means Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. The government actively coordinate with the banks. So, because a small and medium, even some micro uh, companies also uh, suffered from this uh, uh, COVID-19 crisis. So, the government has take uh, initiation and they actively coordinate with the uh, banks and they provide the loans to these uh, companies and and providing the uninterrupted uh, power and finally, uh, so it, they save the working nature of these uh, companies. Since the formation of the state, the government has implemented a range of programs to ensure the welfare of every citizen in the state. So, a new state is formed by the bifurcation of uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh state, the newly formed state Telangana state. So, in Telangana state, so government has implemented a wide range of programs ensuring the welfare of each and every citizen in the state. To protect the vulnerable sections against the impact of the COVID-19, the government strengthened its social safety net and ensured that all existing programs continued uninterruptedly by the public distribution system PDS. So, even though the uh, there, is a, there is a huge crisis, a financial crisis throughout the world due to COVID-19, but uh, 
the government strengthened the public uh, distribution system and they distributed the essential commodities to the people and so the reason is to provide the social safety net to the all the citizens of the state. Rice, red gram dal was distributed to all the food security card holders free of cost from April to November 2020. So, between April to, no April to November means April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November means here as you know it nearly 8 months. Nearly 8 months, 8 months the government uh, supplied, distributed the rice and red gram the, to all the food security card holders free of cost from April to now means uh, white card holders. And financial assistance is given 1500 rupees for transfer twice into the accounts of uh, 81.8 lakh beneficiaries. So, this is uh, one of the uh, important action taken by the government. They provide the minimum commodities rice and red gram dal to all the white card holders and with a free of cost through public uh, distribution system PDS and provide uh, 1500 rupees financial assistance 1500 rupees twice and uh, they transfer this 1500 rupees per each family twice mean two times uh, for 81.8 lakh beneficiaries which gives the uh, financial assistance to them. For schools, the government implemented distance learning and e-learning programs by leveraging mobile phones, computers and TVs enabling children to learn from their homes. Because as actually to all the people in the world are suffered, but uh, among all the areas, the mainly affected areas are first one is uh, education system, second one is health system. So, in education because uh, the school children are suffered lack of uh, schooling. So, these two especially nearly two years the, there is no schools, no classes, children uh, went, went to, did not go to the schools also. But to make the children habituated for the uh, learning. So, government starts a uh, distance learning means digital through digital media. So, by using uh, uh, different channels I mean TSAT, now we are viewing uh, our channel on T through TSAT, uh, government telecasted the digital lessons. The children can see these lessons through mobile phones, computers and their television sets. So, they can learn all these things in the distance mode. So, online learning. So, online learning. So, like through online learning, the government provides a regular classes to the children without having any disturbance for their regular studies. Clear? And the government was one of the first state government to provide significant relief to mitigate the plight of the migrant laborers. So, there are some uh, uh, migrant laborers there. So, so many people because uh, Hyderabad uh, is, is a fast growing city in the country. So, mostly from uh, different states, different people of course, uh, people came here for their uh, livelihood. So, especially in COVID-19, those people are uh, suffered a lot in all uh, areas. So, government gives uh, a relief to uh, mitigate the plight of migrant labor, it provides the food uh, and essential commodities to those people also. During the lockdown, the government instructed all the district electors, commissioners and the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation GHMC to provide basic amenities such as food, water, shelter and medical assistance free of cost and directed to take measures for their safety and security. So, here so government has given a more importance as uh, the first various we call it as a health workers and then drive health workers, doctors. 
So, and in this lockdown question, not only these people, the government instructed all the district collectors, the commissioners and the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation to provide the basic amenities like such as food, water, shelter and medical assistance free of cost and direct to take measure for the safety. So, they make uh, the schools especially in GHMC means Hyderabad uh, area. So, most of the schools is converted into uh, shelters who, for these uh, migrants who are uh, are suffering from this uh, lack of shelter in a COVID-19 situation and in that there they provide the food, water uh, and medical assistance also and the government is given instructions to the, all these uh, heads, heads of the uh, uh, district means uh, generally heads of the district means district collectors and if it is corporation commissioners and for the greater Hyderabad. So, these people will provide all these basic amenities which are required for the uh, people here. The government also supplied uh, 12 kg of rice or atta per person, 1 kg of red gram dal or chana and financial assistance of 500 to 6.5 lakh migrants in May and June 2020. As uh, uh, May, uh, you, as you know it, May and June, uh, the COVID-19 reaches the peak stage at that time. So, there is no uh, general activities done. People are not uh, uh, willing to come outside also. In the particular situation, there is no work. So, the government has supplied 12 kg of rice and atta per person, either uh, rice or atta, which is uh, uh, available there and 1 kg of red gram dal chana and financial assistance of 500 rupees to 6.5 lakh migrants to in the month of May and June. The government in coordination with the line departments and railways also means uh, actually government maintains the coordination with the railway department and help more than 2 lakh uh, migrant workers to reach their homes safely. This is the uh, greatest uh, humankind shown by our Telangana government. Uh, they send uh, these migrants to their uh, own places, native places by with the coordination of uh, yeah, with, the, with the coordination of railway department and just now I said, so they supplied 12 kgs of rice or atta per person, 1 kg of red gram dal or chana and 500 rupees per each one uh, these people and uh, government uh, with the coordination of the railways, they send nearly 2 lakh migrant workers to reach their homes safely. This is a, in this way. So, our government, Telangana government done a financial uh, support, not only financial support in all aspects. Uh, they, uh, they save the lives of the people, not only uh, Telangana people, but also the migrant workers who are working at Telangana. Uh, so, Telangana, they, our government save their lives also. They send the migrant workers to their homes safely. This is uh, uh, about uh, the government policies have taken in the a pandemic situation of COVID-19. So, we will discuss the remaining in the next sessions. Thank you.